Hello everyone, this video is about the differences between DOS attack and DDoS attack and how to prevent the DDoS attack. So, what is DOS attack? A DOS attack stands for a denial of service attack, which means a single attacker attacking a single target. This means that one computer and one internet connection is used to flood the server with packets. The attacker sends a large number of legitimate-looking requests to the server in a way that the server cannot really distinguish between valid and non-valid requests. It will overwhelm the system to a point that the server cannot handle the capacity anymore. The point of such denial-of-service attack is to overload the targeted server's bandwidth and other computing resources. This will make the server inaccessible to others. And what is DDoS attack? DDoS, the DDoS attack, stands for a distributed denial of service attack. In most respects, it is similar to DOS attack, but the results are much different. Instead of one computer and one internet connection in normal DOS attack, the DDoS attack utilizes many computers and many connections. The computers behind such an attack are often distributed around the whole world and will be part of what is known as a botnet. So the first step of launching a DDoS attack is to recruit an army of bots. In order to turn a computer into a bot, the attacker develops specialized malware, which spreads to as many vulnerable computers as possible. Malware can spread via compromised websites, email attachment, or through an organization's network. Users who was tricked to running such malware will unintentionally turn their computer into a bot and provide access points to the attackers to their computers. Once a computer turns into a bot, it connects to the attacker's command and control server and begins to accept orders from the centralized machines. The orders from the command and control server include the direction for launching an attack from the bot's malware to a particular target and the selected attacking method. An army of bots is named as botnet and usually consists of thousands of bots. Anytime the botnet owners want to launch an attack, they send messages to their command and control server with the instruction to perform the attack on a particular target. Any infected machine in the botnet will comply by launching a coordinated, real-time distributed attack known as a DDoS attack. The main difference between DOS and DDoS attack is that there's only one attacker in DOS attack, but in DDoS attack, the target server will be overloaded by hundreds or even thousands of requests. Therefore, it is much harder for a server to withstand a DDoS attack as opposed to the simpler DOS incursion. So, how do we prevent a DDoS attack? DDoS attack comes in many different forms. One of them is called Trojan. The attacker usually sends a link with Trojan, and if the victim opens the link, the attacker can do whatever he wants with the computer. So the simplest way to avoid DDoS attack is making sure not open any link that you're not known of. You can also get a professional company to help you mitigate the attacks. The company will install NetFlow protocol which monitors traffic to your site. If you are serving your own data, making sure all your routers drop junk packets, block ICMP when you don't need it, and set up a strong firewall. So how do the companies prevent the DDoS attack? Large company leads a significantly larger capacity than they need to for a DDoS attack. If the attacker is unable to take over enough traffic off the site, the attack is generally ineffective. Some companies have tools which monitor NetFlow data from routers to determine a baseline for traffic. If they detect any traffic that steps out of the zone, the DDoS mitigation tools can attract the traffic and filter it out. 
Many large companies often implement either a DNS-based redirect service or a BGP-based service to protect them from attack. Those services can help the company stay online during an attack. So this is the end of our video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.